we have developed a prototype virtual endoscopy system that merges the concepts of interactive direct volume rendering and virtual endoscopy in a tool for non-invasive visualization and analysis of human vessels. These interactive sequences show the examination of a CT scan of the popliteal artery of a patient that was complaining of an invalidating claudication and of traffic lesions at the homolateral foot. An endovascular stent was placed in the popliteal artery through a percutaneous approach at the contralateral common femoral artery. Angiograms showed a complete recanalization of the popliteal artery with a good flow beyond the stent, accompanied by a complete clinical improvement. The volumetric reconstruction from the CT scan shows the whole segment of the leg. By controlling the mapping from CT data values to emission and absorption coefficients for volume rendering, various objects of interest can be identified. Here, the popliteal artery, made visible by the injection of contrast material, has been colored in dark red, while the stand clearly visible has been colored in yellow. The procedure allowed us to identify the protrusion of the atherosclerotic plaque narrowing the lumen, now extruded from the latter by the correct stand placement. Here the plaques have been colored in white. We now make the contrast material totally transparent and enter the vessel, traversing it using dynamic camera control until we reach the stented region. Lumen variations are interactively measured using ray casting from the 2D mouse position. A small narrowing associated to the stenosis area is clearly visible. To obtain an accurate visualization beyond the capabilities of the real-time volume renderer, we activate a viewing filter that produces a ray-casted view of a screen region attached to the 2D cursor. While our system is still a research prototype, these sequences show the potential of interactive direct volume rendering and 3D user interfaces for improving the diagnostic sensitivity in the vascular domain.